off to go and do the Glossner Pass. So we're going to head down the valley, down there where we went yesterday for a little drive, and um, yeah, find the toll booth and set off. It's uh, 38 euros, I think, for a car or a motorhome under three and a half tons. Over that, you have to pay for a truck rate. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'll have a look when I get there. Okay, so see you later. Right, so we have a ticket and we have a sticker. Woohoo! Can I stick it on the van even though I didn't bring the van? No. Is that cheating, is it? I might though, because we've done the pass. Right then, there's the chairlift. We can pull in here and decide which places we're going to stop. People coming up by cable car from the village. Seems to be a cafe or something up the top there. A lot of motorbikes, sorry about the noise, but it's a great road for motorbikers and cars. And actually I think it's possible we would have done this one in the motorhome because the roads are not that steep. So we are at Palik at 1950 meters. Not really sure what's going on here. A hideous colored car, which apparently is full of snow. While the ice of the glacier is apparently melting for all to see, a golden Porsche is parked in a car park in line of sight of this tragedy. Its interior transformed into a permanent ice cave by means of built-in freezing units and great expenditure of energy. It's an art installation. And the thing about the Glossglockner is there are shops and museums and activities and things to do all the way up. Restaurants and things like that. Yeah, so that explains the Porsche. This waterfall is called the Shower of Energy. What's a chicken? <laughs> well, it's a cockerel. cockerel. <laughs> Not every day you see a chicken crossing an alpine cross pass. Crossing the road. Why did <laughs> the chicken cross the road? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I said, can we go left? Yes, we can go left. So we'll go left first. Yep. Left first, and then we'll come back down and go towards the other bit. There is a lot of parking up here. They obviously expect lots of people. And there is a partially dried up lake down there. There's supposed to be a waterfall, but it's just a trickle. It's been so dry this year. The air's very thin, I have to say. Makes you a little bit breathless. A few motorhomes and camper vans parked up over there. A hell of a spot. It is. As I say, these roads are not as steep or as bendy, so you can get coaches, big motorhomes, bikes, everything up here. There's lots of passing places, lots of parking places. And a panorama restaurant. Panorama restaurant. More motorhomes. Oh, there's sun on the glacier there. Look, that's pretty. Look at that. Oop, there's a queue. Yeah, this is the top, basically, so there is an underground car park 
queue. Now this is a car park with a view, right? <laughs> Look how far down those people are. There's a little... What do you call these train things that go up and down a mountain? Funiculars, is that right? Goes all the way down to there. Phenomenal. You see a marmot there where I buy the blackbirds? A little marmot next to the blackbird with the silvery thing. <laughs> Doug moves away from the edge. <laughs> now, as you can see, there is a fabulous lookout point up there. But Doug's freaking out slightly by how high up we are already, so I don't think I'm going to get him to go up there. to a worse place in terms of heights really but the views are to die for absolutely amazing we've just come through that tunnel and it's a view on the other side is awesome if i felt breathless before i'm even more lightheaded now but i'm not going to miss this pronounced completely wrongly. I don't know if you can see but just down there in the valley there is a campsite with some caravans, motorhomes, awnings up. 
Well, we've literally walked through the town in about two seconds. It's mostly hotels, very pretty alpine hotels. And there's the cable car just behind us here. That's the cable car that I showed you on the gloss clock now with the silver gondolas. There's a little hummingbird moth here. Don't know if I'm going to be able to catch him on film. Can you see him? <laughs> We're down the hill and what a stunning view that was. Um, easy to get up and down. The, the roads are really wide and um, easy to navigate. Doug's not keen on heights, so the wider the road, the better. <laughs> but there were less trees at the other side of the mountain. So um, he was a little bit more vertigo induced, I think. Uh, he enjoyed the Visage Pass better, but the views were amazing on both of them. So either way, we're heading on home now for some late lunch and... Um, yeah, I don't know what's in store for tomorrow. Something a bit more laid back and not so high up in the sky, I suspect. Okay, speak to you later.
beautiful door. I wouldn't like to mow that grass. <laughs> ah, it's a long way down. It's a lovely walk. The clouds are building up a little bit over the mountain top. But I think we're on the downward slope weather-wise now. bell. That's a good bell that is. Hello Mrs. Goat or Mr. Goat. Oh it's Georgie. Hello. It's a nice foot you've got. You've got a fabulous view from your little house haven't you? I love these little sheds that they have with this wooden slate roofs. Really pretty. Very alpine. Mm, pretty. We've had a fabulous walk this morning, looking at all the flora and fauna and generally just taking in the beauty. I think even if I showed you every single photograph and every snippet of film I've taken this holiday, nothing would prepare you for just how beautiful this place really is. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it justice. Well worth a little visit, as I always say. <laughs> right, well that's us almost back to the house. So it's time for a drink and a little sit down, I think. That is the end of our trip to Austria, unfortunately. We're heading on home tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give us a like. Leave me a comment, let me know what your favourite part was and if you would tackle the Grossglockner in your motorhome. All that's left to say is from me, Doug and Bella. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.